Collecting categories within the vast history of Magic the Gathering? Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. The way I see it, you can do a few things, right? You can buy singles. Uh, you can set collect. You can buy graded cards or you can grade cards. Or you can collect sealed. Singles, sets, sealed, and graded. That's pretty much where you're going to go with magic cards. I don't really see where else you're going in terms of collecting. I mean, yeah, decks, but that I count as singles, right? So where else, um, you know, what am I talking about, these categories? So categories, right? You got, I look at it by, like, eras and sets. Like you have alpha, beta, unlimited. That, that's a category to me. Then the next category is like um, the Four Horsemen category after that is revised. You know, I sometimes count that with Alpha Beta Unlimited, but more often than not, I'll count that with like Fourth Edition, Ice Age, Fallen Empires, um, and Alliances. And on the border is Visions, okay? Then other than that, you got the next, the nine sets, Visions, Mirage, Weatherlight, The Wrath Cycle, Tempest, which is Tempest, Stronghold, Exodus, and then the Urza's um, block, which Saga, Legacy, Destiny. That's a whole nother grouping. Then after that is the non-reserve list, Silver Age, Foils, um, Old Border. This ends around Time Spiral 1, around there, a little bit before it. Um, that's when the border changed. And then the next era is like from that border change to... Return to Ravnica print increase. Then after that, you have the... I mean, I guess you have the Bronze Age, which is still the foil print um, from Return to Ravnica. is still the foil, same foil rate until War of the Spark. After that, War of the Spark, you know, this is when the foil rate increased in Modern Horizons 1, I think was the first set. Or maybe the last set. Right around there, anyway. Um, and then you're into the new modern flashy age of collector's edition. Now, coming up soon, and, the, you know, what I plan on doing is dissecting each one of those groupings. And I'm going to look at the sets within and rate them as to what I see as the best. Um, I don't want to use the word investment because maybe collector's piece I want to use because it's like, I want to pick these cards up and I want them to hold value. And the sets that I'm going to be listing at the top of my list or, you know, last and first place, whatever, not the bottom of the list, not the garbage ones. The good ones are the ones that I feel will hold the most value in your collection long term. Um, yeah, I mean, look, let's talk about ABU, okay? Clearly... Unlimited is number three, beta is two, and alpha is one, right? Due to rarity and so on and so forth. And, of course, the fact that beta, you know, I might put beta now on a level with unlimited. Oh, probably not. Just because of Magic 30, people didn't weren't too happy with beta, you know. But mm, it didn't change that much in terms of pricing. It didn't change anything in rarity, you know. So, still. Anyway, that's an example. So, that being said, alpha in that block or that grouping alpha is the best unlimited the worst question mark <laughs> but you know what i'm saying relative to each other so this is how we're going to be going through these sets um soon i feel like even lower end sets sometimes have their merits and so these things must be uh, highlighted as well for example um homelands <laughs> Not a great set, but hey, it was around the time of Fallen Empires and Ice Age and 4th Edition, so, you know, but Homelands had 45 packs in a box. Fallen Empires had 60. You know, these are bonuses for those sets. So if you buy a box of Fallen Empires versus a box of Ice Age, you're getting almost twice as many packs. That's that's kind of crazy. So, you know, that's a positive. So we'll be discussing these things. It's pretty interesting. I like looking at it like that because 
it's like silver age foils what do i want to collect i think i'm going to go after um mercadian masks you know that has the most heat in that set and yeah it's one of the first few foil sets so this is how i'm going to be looking at things uh in the future and breaking it down i don't know let me know what you guys think uh, below uh remember to like and subscribe uh channel memberships patreon if you're gonna buy any cards today remember to use my tcg player affiliate link in the description click on it shop like normal free easy to use thank you to those that do uh yeah otherwise take care guys have a lovely day Peace. game over man game over what are we gonna do now what are we gonna do maybe we can build a fire sing a couple of songs huh why don't we try that